What's up guys, Justin from Fix My PEV, and today I want to tell you a little bit about Bluetooth low energy commands for your one wheel. A lot of the time I get the question asked, what is this for? Why should I do it? Do I even need to do it? And I just wanted to answer that today for you. So there are actually a number of functions that you can actually send commands for on your one wheel. And the number one function is to get your board into factory mode. That factory mode gets your board into a mode that will allow it to accept these other commands. The second command doesn't work for all boards, but it works for the Pine X, the Pint, the XR, the Plus. I don't know about the V1, haven't tested it on that. But it is a command that allows you to recalibrate the Hall Effect sensors. And the reason I'm rotating my finger is because the Hall Effect sensors are located inside the stator in your hub motor. And recalibrating those sensors, when you do that, it actually allows those sensors in their current state to be read by the controller so that the motor can run as efficiently as possible. The reason that you might want to do that would be that over time, those Hall Effect sensors do actually wear down due to heat and just general wear and tear. So the calibration could potentially end up being off by a little bit over time and recalibrating that obviously will help you get back to a point to where your motor will run as efficiently as it can in its current state. Typically, I would recommend doing that every few hundred miles or every few months, give or take, especially if you're doing any major repairs or modifications or anything to the motor, like if you do a bearing change or if you have to open things up and apply ferrofluid or anything like that. So obviously, anything major like that, you're going to be taking it apart, putting it back together. And when that hub motor gets put back together, it's a good idea to do the calibration. So again, that doesn't work on the GT. It only works on the models that I mentioned. But then the third command that would be used is the re-leveling command. And it's also a pairing command. It basically recalibrates everything so that your BMS or your BMS and your battery in the GT and your controller will communicate with each other again. If you ever have to replace your BMS in a newer board, you may have tried before and you would get an error message that is basically the controller and the BMS saying, hey, we don't know each other, so we refuse to link with each other and be used. So your board wouldn't work, but that calibration command will actually pair those together at the time that you run it. So that's one of the benefits. The GT also, you may or may not know that if you disconnect your battery, you will get a corrupted memory error. This calibration function will also fix that. So those are some of the added benefits that that brings beyond the main one that almost everybody is actually using these commands for, which is re-leveling the orientation of your board. If you get aftermarket rails, especially with the angles in them, your controller is going to sit slightly differently or your stance is gonna be a bit different due to the fact that the controller used to be calibrated for straight rails. So if you have a tilt at your back foot or at your front foot, that controller orientation is going to change and now the board is going to lean or ride level in a manner that may or may not actually be level to your liking. So that calibration command will actually fix that. And as you notice, I didn't go through the commands here today. This was more of a, what does it do? Why should I do it? Do I need to do it? Honestly, you can do it whenever you want, however often you want. You could do it on aftermarket rails, like I mentioned, you could do it on stock rails and it will recalibrate the level and do the other things that I talked about. So I do have individual videos that will be available for each of the boards on their individual guides, but this video is a good introductory video that explains to you exactly what these Bluetooth Low Energy, or BLE if you see that, that's what it stands for, what these byte arrays that are being sent, that's their technical term, that are being sent to your board are going to do to the board and do for you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but that is your why.